Hello, I'm Georgia Stull, and if you know me, you know I love handy hints. So I thought I'd take a minute and share one of my very favorite handy hints with you. When I first bought my Statler, there was no such thing as pattern management software. I have it now, and many of you may have it, but some of you, it just might not be in the budget to purchase pattern management software. Well, I figured out a way to manage my patterns, and it made a lot easier for me and it's very cost effective because it's free it just takes a little bit of time so let's look at what you're used to you click on add a pattern and you go to your patterns which is your C drive and this is what you're used to all of your patterns are in individual folders according to designers well I found that to be kind of messy a customer says to me I'd like to do an edge to edge so I could open up and bright and I could you know, wing my way through here and see how many etch etch and maybe I didn't find what I wanted. So I'd say, well, let's look at Karen Farnsworth and here's an etch to etch and here's another etch to etch. Gosh, I just don't think that looks very professional and it certainly is time consuming. So how did I handle that? Well, I'm going to close out this window and I'm going to diminish the screen. And what I do is I open up my C drive twice. I like to physically see the pattern be moved into another folder and I can do it another way but this is the way that works for me because I'm a very visual person so here's my C drive and it shows my uh, individual folders in this case my patterns by Ann Bright here's my folders patterns by Ann Bright and over here what I have is the way I set my patterns up into some new folders my folders would say patterns and then the word would be AA and I put AA there because I want the patterns to go to the top of the row it'll be on top of my designer folders and then I would put categories so it might be block specific that means double wedding ring log cabin it might be border patterns or quilt of valor patterns however I like to look for patterns that's how I set up a folder. Obviously, my most common one was my uh, border to border, etch to edge, pantographs, whatever you want to call them. And this is how it worked. I'm in the Ann Bright folder right here, and she has a pattern called American Heroes Border to Border. Now, I wouldn't just take the pattern and move it over here. I don't want that to happen because now I don't have it over here. So let's bring it back. Instead, what I would do is I would right click and copy that pattern and come over here right click and paste the pattern and let's see American heroes sometimes it actually goes to the bottom when I first put it in it didn't where is it oh there it is American heroes so I still have it in my Android folder now I have it also in my patterns that are edge to edge, border to border, whatever you want to call that. And I think it's so much more user friendly so that now when I pull up my Creative Studio and I say, they say, oh, I'd like to look for um, an edge to edge. I don't have to look according to individual ones. I can come in here. Here's my border to border. And now I can quickly peruse through all of my edge to edge regardless of who the designer is. I'm Georgia Stull. I hope you've enjoyed this handy hint and I just want to take a minute and let you know that you can find out more about my teaching at www.heartlandquiltworks.net or come to my Facebook page. Just go to Facebook and look up Heartland Quilt Works. I teach in small groups to large groups. I teach one-on-one -on -one and I teach in my studio or yours. I'm a beta tester and a creative studio trainer and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much.